Back to the Headbangers Ball, and right now we are joined with Bobby and Rob from the band Overkill. And we spoke to Bobby quite a ways back. Yep. And uh, since then, Overkill has done some member changes. Like so many bands, we had Testament on earlier. They just did a whole big uh, member switch, and now you guys have too, right? They were following suit, you might say. Yeah. Uh, new drummer in the band, Tim Mallory, uh, formerly MOD, did some work with DRI. Um, now doing work with Overkill and recorded uh, I Hear Black with us, which okay. is our new record. The new record, like you just said, is called I Hear Black. Mm -hmm. Now, since the band started, you've had lineup changes, what, three times? Uh, Drummer-wise, three times. Um, and Rob has been with us for two records now. Actually, Rob's been with us since the beginning, but played on two records. Right. Now, with the lineup change, do you notice a big difference between the band the way they you guys were the first record, for instance. Well, yeah, there's there's definitely a difference because there's new heads writing the material. You know, you you put five guys in a room and they're different guys. You're going to get different input. Um, but the the positive aspect of it is that change brings a instills a new certain energy into it, a new blood, new hunger kind of a feel. Mm -hmm. So you know, I mean, Rob we'll is the testimony to it. Yeah, the testament guys said the same thing. It's all really just fresh and new, and you remember the reason that you started doing this again. Right. Uh, it's all like being a whole new yeah, band again. Turn it into a job and saying, oh man, we gotta go back on the road, you know? We're actually just five guys who are uh, like spending time together now and actually share the same job. Pretty cool. Now we're about to play the new video, which is called Spiritual Void. And was this like filmed in some underground tunnel or Subterranean, or? about, uh, what, about five miles from here or less. We're yeah. under Central Park. Under oh, really? The, under the reservoir, yeah. Nice. So we're, we're kind of like Con Ed guys for a day down there, you know? <laughs> okay, around well, the let's water. check out the video. Here is Spiritual Void from Overkill. World premiere. It's called I Hear Black. And produced this album, you had uh, Alex Perialis, who also did the earlier Overkill stuff, right? Old friend, yeah. Now, is there a reason, like you said, you know, listen back to the early stuff, I really like the sound he got from the band, let's go back with him, or? He said he'd do it for free. <laughs> That's the bottom line. It, was, it wasn't, it had nothing to do with sound or production value, it, it, it was, it's the price now, right? Definitely. Now, like, like I said, old friend, um, you know, as we were talking about lineups too before, um, we like working with people we like. Um, so it, Alex has always liked this kind of music. Uh, he's got a great studio, just rehashed the whole thing. Had everything we needed to make this record. Um, we saw him when we were on the road last year and said, check this out. We said, let's do a record. So it's, besides that, it, it's good to be able to sit down and have a beer with somebody and enjoy their company prior then. Because you guys are locked in a room. I mean, how long did it take you to do this record? Well, 45 days, maybe? Yeah. That's pretty, that's all, actually that's pretty compared to some bands, that's not a very long time though. We pump them right out. Right. Kind of like an Irish this, Catholic family. This music know. was a, the type of music that seemed like it was a kind of thing to get back together with friends and sort of, you know, have a beer over rather than right. grinding it out, you know, for 40 days and just getting reacquainted with a new new guy or whatever. It just seemed like a, a friendship sort of uh, vibe. Cool. Now tell me real quick about tour plans. You guys are out on the road promoting the I Hear Black record. Yeah, as we speak, uh, just finished with a show in New York. Uh, a couple more dates here, then, um, I don't know, about six weeks in Europe, back here again. I mean, this is our, our main visibility, is we like to play. These songs were born live, um, we make them happen live. It's, it's not uh, the record as much for us as it is getting out there and doing it on the stage. Very cool. Yeah. Well, the new record, once again, is called I Hear Black. Go and check it out. Thanks again for stopping by. Thanks. When we come back, we're going to have ACDC Living Color and a Friend at Large segment when the Headbangers Ball continues, so stay tuned. Nobody's seen this for a hundred years.